Hi, my name is Natasha Hines. I served in the U.S. Army and retired as a major. So I retired from the U.S. Army in 2019. And to be honest with you, it was a little bit turbulent um, because I basically had so many options and I needed to narrow it down. Um, so for example, I was in the Soldier for Life program um, and you know, I could be a government civilian, I could be a federal contractor, I could do open a franchise business, which is what I was thinking about doing. Um, um, but then in September, 2019, so I retired in May, 2019. In September, 2019, a good friend of mine said, Natasha, what are you doing? You need to believe in yourself and just focus on your headwear company. Because I started my company uh, two years prior and you know, I, I don't know why I didn't want to completely focus on it, but she basically said, just focus on your headwear company. And so what I learned was that the veteran business community literally wrapped their arms around my little business to help me succeed. And it was a really um, unexpected feeling, but also not really surprising because it was very symbolic of my time in the military where, you know, people just wanted to help you. They wanted to help you be successful. And so that was my experience of transitioning to where I am now. So my time in the military is very special to me um, because of the amazing memories that and the friends that I've acquired over the years I served. I entered the military because there was like a, a, there was a college fair in my town. And so I attended the college fair, received a scholarship right there on the spot at the college fair. And then when I started enrolling into classes, I signed up for Army ROTC. And so while I was in ROTC, I received another scholarship, which basically allowed me to graduate debt-free. And so the only reason I joined the military was to pay back a service obligation because of the scholarship I received. So I was supposed to serve four years active and four years reserve, but at the four year mark, when it was time you know, to make the decision on leaving, I said, you know what? I'm having a great time. And so I signed a memorandum and I basically stayed in until I retired at 20 years. And so the memories um, is really, and, and the, the opportunities and the friends that I met, the things that I was able to do, I can honestly say without a doubt that I would not have been able to do most of the things that I did while serving had it not been for the military. So it's really a humbling and amazing experience uh, to simply serve. It would have to be eight up. Basically the word eight up described um, when something went wrong, right? So if you're trying to do something and something doesn't go as planned, you would just say, man, that is so eight up. Um, or if somebody's doing something wrong, you would say that person is so ate up. So that's the one word that sort of sticks out in my mind. But there are so many military words um, that basically stick with me and I use a lot of them today. Okay, so first off, I would like to say that veterans are generally perfectionists. Um, and they are also, they also have a lot of imposter syndrome. So when starting a business, it's important to use the 80-20% rule um, because everything is not going to be 100% perfect. Um, I know, I know veteran friends who have been talking about starting a business for years, but they haven't started because they want everything to be completely perfect. I will say that that is never going to happen. Nothing's going to be perfect and it's important for veterans to just start. Another thing is imposter syndrome. A lot of veterans, when they do something, they don't feel like it's a big deal. You know, they don't feel like they've done anything special because while serving, they're so used to serving for others and doing things for others and um, accomplishing the mission, but they don't think that the skills they've acquired are anything special, but I'm just, you know, sometimes when this happens in my presence I'm, and they don't think that they've done something special, you know, I just shake my head because I do know that feeling. Um, but I just want to say that veterans, you're amazing. Um, veterans, they make the best business owners as well because the skills that they learned while serving in the military, leadership, teamwork, organizational skills, problem solving, 
All of those skills directly relate to running a business. There are just a few gaps that are not present, but veterans know how to figure it out and, and find the resources in order to get it done. Um, so I would say that if someone has a veteran friend, you know, you could reach out to them, call them, uh, spend time with them. Um, with regard to organizations to donate to, there are so many organizations uh, that support veterans. Volunteer or donate with G3 Community Services, which is GQ sister nonprofit. Um, and they do a lot of activities for children and veterans. There are several nonprofits that help veterans with entrepreneurship, like the Institute for Veterans and Military Families. There are organizations that support homeless veterans. So it's really easy to support um, veterans through nonprofit organizations. You just have to Google it and, and try to find an area that you that you care about.